be cool. Well, on today's call, Sharon, we're going to simply knock out our what we call Facebook business manager. But but I'm going to make it even more. I'm going to dumb it down even more. I'm going to make it even more stupid, simple, because at the end of the day, when it comes to Facebook ads, when it comes to anybody scaling on Facebook um, with Facebook advertising or even on Instagram with Instagram ads, it's all done through the Facebook business manager. So that's that's a huge, a huge, a huge mistake and a, a huge thing that 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 most realtors missed over the, just forever when it came to Facebook ads is most will run ads through they'll either boost a post. So they'll go to their business page and on that post, they'll see a blue button and it says boost. Right. And they'll boost a post. That's what I'm pretty sure you've done that a lot is boost boosted post. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some most actually not even some most most will will try to run an ad through boosting a post. Um, that's one way. The second way, by default, we all have an ads manager. So the second way people will run an ad to the ads manager. And the way you get there is go to your newsfeed. So click the, the logo on the top left. Just go back to your newsfeed. And on the left-hand side, you're going to click on ads manager. So by default, the second way people will run an ad is they'll run it through the ads manager through right here. They'll click on ads manager. They'll come straight over here and they'll click on, you can X this part out. We'll, we'll, we'll um, um, get to the disabled part, but but this is what ends up happening. This is my point. This is my point. And that's why today we're going to take it a step further. My point is this will happen. So the second way people will try to run ads is they'll run it to the ads manager. And that's this. So by default, by default, if you have a personal profile, you have a business manager. I mean, not a business manager. You have an ads manager. That's this. So this is the second way people will run an ad. The problem with these two ways of running ads, boosting a post or running it straight here through the ads manager, is that you're not able to collect any of the data that's going on with your ads. I this. So, so as you ran that ad, 11, 22, 2017, promoting Hawaii dream homes, as you ran that ad through the ads manager, or you boosted the post, as you ran that ad, hundreds of people, I know, let's just say thousands. Cause it was, it was thousands depend on, well, depend on what, what one spends, but, but it's safe to say, even if you spent 10 bucks a day, you're still reaching thousands of people. So mm -hmm. for example, let's say, Thousands of people saw that post promoting Hawaii dream homes. Thousands of people saw that post, but only 50 of them clicked, came over to your page and actually opted in. That was supposed to be tracked. Yeah. Out of the thousands of people who saw that ad, that was supposed to be tracked. Out of the thousands of people who clicked, let's just say, let's say 200 of them clicked, went over to the web page and for whatever reason didn't down your download your buyer guide for whatever reason and there's many legitimate reasons this person could have been driving person could have been changing a diaper like me person could have been cooking food like my wife whatever like things happen they saw your ad they clicked they went over to the web page for whatever reason they didn't fill it out that should have been tracked right so because because you can't do any of that tracking that's why most fell in facebook ads because all they did is ran it once they just mm -hmm. ran the ad and whatever happened happened they didn't track any of the data on the back end and that's what 99% of social media um, advertising is all about. So when you see a Facebook ad, an Instagram ad, a LinkedIn ad, a TikTok ad, we're talking ads. When you're running an ad, 99% of, of the success that one is going to have with that ad is the data that they tracked on the back end. So meaning I tracked all the people who engaged. You put out yeah. a one minute video, I tracked those who watched 25 seconds of it, showed them another ad. You got thousands of people to see this. I tracked those people show them another ad. You got X amount to click and go to your website, but they didn't opt in for whatever reason. I track that. I show them another ad. The ones who actually opted in, you had 50 of them that actually opted in and, and, and downloaded your free buyer's guide. Those people should have been tracked. Now those leads, 50 of them, let's say, for example, we would now from this point on exclude them from seeing future ads because they've yeah. already opted in. This is data. This is all what 99% of all this stuff is about. And this is what you can only do through the business manager. Yeah. That's what we're setting up today. Okay. Perfect. It's a business manager. So mm -hmm. a lot of times this stuff will be set up, but it's not fully complete. And so that's what we're going to do today. And so as you jump in, looking at Facebook ads, looking at Instagram ads, this is where it happens. This is the back end. This is the business manager slash ads manager. This is where it all happens. Um, but we got it. We got it. We got it. We got to set it up. There's a lot that that is most likely not complete, and that's what we're going to go over today. And out of, out of all this stuff that you could possibly be clicking on, there's only seven buttons that we'll ever need. So when it comes yeah. to Facebook ads, Instagram ads, scaling through the moon, and taking your business to seven, eight, and even nine figures by 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 leveraging paid ads, it's all going to happen through these seven buttons that we're going to bookmark today.
So as we go through this and set this up, we're going to bookmark. So that's what we need to do actually is, is set up a folder. Can we set up a bookmark folder? Yeah. Uh, and and let's set up a folder. And because, because at the end of this call, we're going to have, we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have seven bookmarks in this folder. And that's so all. Do I go to favorites? Go to favorites. And we should be able to see um, they're at the top. Yeah. They're at the very, very top next to the star. Yeah. You should be able to. Perfect. This is FB Facebook, FB business manager. FB business manager. And so all we're going to do, to do today again is, 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 is complete and, 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 and really optimize the business manager. And we're going to bookmark seven of the only tabs we'll ever need. And we're going to put okay. it in the folder. Okay. So, so we'll start with the three lines and, and we're going to be going to the three lines in the top left. We're going to be going to those three lines a lot. So click on the three lines and go to business settings. So again, wow. a lot of times it's at the very top or down at the bottom. A lot of the times this will already be somewhat set up. It's just not complete. Okay. Right. And that's what this this most likely is. So right here, people, you see, and all we're going to do is work our way down on the left hand side from top to bottom. OK, so, so we have people. Let's bookmark it here. This is our first bookmark. This is business settings. So hit the star um, right there in the top right. And we should be able to actually. Yeah, that one. And we should be able to rename it. We're going to name it business settings, just business settings. And then we'll hit the drop down. Um, you could take. Yeah, take away the number four, just business settings. And then we'll hit the drop down and we'll put it in that folder. So. Perfect. That's bookmark number one. Um, on the left-hand side, we're going to go down to pages. Let's go down to pages and make sure that that new page, I remember we set up a new one, right? This one. And that's the new one. So this bottom one, this bottom one, you cannot access it, right? You don't have full admin. I just, I don't have full admin and I don't know why. I asked, I sent an email to Facebook to give me full access. So it may be restored at some point, but then we'll have access to my old actress um, so this whole, this page here was really my old actress yes. fan page. Should we keep it around or should we, should we get rid of it? Or what do you, what do you, no, you can leave it, but should we, yeah. I mean, what do you plan on doing with it? I guess is. I honestly was going to use, that's the only thing I changed here was I added realtor because my main intention was to keep my 5,000 fans, but that you can actually get us to 5,000 again, then we don't need this page. Let's remove it. We don't have to completely unpublish it from Facebook, but let's let's at least remove it from our new okay. business manager. That's what we're setting up today is a new remove. business manager. And we can always add that to a different business manager. Yeah, hit remove and we're good. So everything everything's gonna evolve around Sharon Bell Realtor. That's the new that's the new yes. one. Okay, cool. So right here, pages. So the way you can kind of look at a business manager is the same exact way, same exact way you look at an LLC. Like in your okay. guys' business with with your with your um with your funding, with Victor and your guys' funding business, and then your real estate business, even when you start mm -hmm. crushing in real estate, what do most brokers go and go and do? They go and create an LLC, right? They go and create an LLC, got a little bit of money coming in, and and now we got we need we need, we need protection, right? You go create an LLC, but at the end of the day, it's still you who's tied to it, right? right? It's still even though the LLC has its own credit card, even though the LLC has its own bank account, it's still you that's tied to it, right? That's what right. this is. The business manager is like the LLC, but we still have to tie back Sharon. Sharon is the person that owns the personal profile. So we still have to tie her to it all as well. And that's what we're doing. So right here, people, the people go and click on add people. It's going to be you. So you we're tying you to the business page. We're tying you to the business manager. So click on your circle right there. And then to the very, very right, bottom, right, scroll all the way down and just go um, Facebook. Yeah. Click on that circle, Facebook, Okay, perfect. So that should that should give you yeah full control. Okay, perfect. And then assign. So all we're doing is, is tying. Unable to add one person. Please try again. Click on done. I don't know what that little circle button was. So all we're doing is tying Sharon Bell to the business page and tying Sharon Bell to the business manager. That's all we did there. So again, everything has to be tied back to to Sharon Bell, the actual person on the personal profile. Got it. Okay. So so add accounts to the left. And in Sharon Bell Realtor, that's the, that's the name we're going with for everything. We're naming that the business page. We're naming that the business manager. Um, if you click on add accounts, we're going to also name that the ad account. So go ahead and click on add. This is where the credit card is going to be tied to this new account. So um, go ahead and click on, yeah, click on add. Actually, no, not add an account, create a new one. So X out of this one, we're creating a new one. Yeah, so it's the third one down, create a new ad account. And so add account name, Sharon Bell Realtor. Sharon Bell Realtor, we're going with the same for, for all. Okay, cool. So that's the ad account. That's the ad account. So moving forward, moving, moving forward, 
like I've been I've been in this platform all day every day for for the past few years, right? I I I I, I can't I didn't I use I hate using the word mastered, but because I mean I truly believe we never master something. We're always learning, right? We're always always getting better. But I'm pretty I got pretty damn good at this part at this entire platform. But every now and then, every now and then I get stuck on something. So you're gonna be able to reach out to me whenever the heck you guys need anything. But every now and then I'll get stuck on something, and whenever that happens. I'll end up probably just recommending, hey, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to reach out to Facebook. I don't know what the hell happened on that. Right, one. right. Reach out to Facebook. In the event that you have to reach out to them, which is an email or a chat, a lot actually 99% of the time it's 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 a it's a chat mess message, just like you're direct messaging someone else. So so when you have to reach out that that way, the first question they have is what is the ad account ID number? And that's it at the top. So right there in the blue, 799, that's your ad account ID number. That's normally the first question they have. What's the ad account? And that's why the only time you'll ever reach out to them is, is an issue with an ad or a rejected ad or a credit card got charged and it wasn't supposed to. Something random like that. Any other technical or or, or problems that you may occur that may occur, I, I have the answer for a lot of this stuff. But every now and then they'll you'll have to reach out to them and that's what they'll need to know. So just okay. save that number, but but then again, it's a bookmark. Actually, I don't think we have bookmark. Did you bookmark this page already? No. Yeah, let's bookmark this. This is a bookmark. And this is add accounts. So add accounts, we'll put it in that folder. And that's that's another bookmark. Perfect. And then we're good there. So now Instagram accounts to the left, we'll just keep working our way down. Um, we'll just make sure that our IG is connected over here. So go ahead, and, go ahead and add it to this one. Yeah, so we'll just go through this connection and we should be good. Perfect. Go ahead and check that circle, hit finish. And then we should be... We should be good. Okay, cool. So, okay. And then go ahead and switch. Switch to Instagram business for settings. So right in the top middle, just go ahead and click on switch. And then um, all that's doing is, is switching your personal profile, your personal IG. It's switching it to a business profile. Got it. So now we can start running ads on Instagram. So this is simply just setting up your your IG as, as a business profile, as a professional account now is what they call it, but it's a business profile. So um, here, I think real estate is somewhere down there. I think something real estate related. No, this is all. So should I just do product and service? There's no real estate at all? No. Oh, well, why don't I just type it here and see if it comes up? Oh, perfect. Awesome. Done? Cool. Yes, done. So now what we're going to do is you're going to add people. So again, we're tying Sharon Bell, the personal profile, all back to everything. So yeah, so click on add people. And then you'll see your name here and then just scroll all the way down to the right. I Yeah, sometimes it says full control. And if it doesn't say full control, which it doesn't here on the list to the right, just, yeah, shade all of them. Do all of them. Turn them all perfect. And then assign. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good. And then and then also one person. Okay, cool. We're good. Just go to ref refresh this page. Make sure that your name is still there to the bottom right. Okay, cool. We're good. And then the Instagram account. What we're going to do here is we're going to tie it to the ad account. So when we when we run ads on Instagram, Facebook's going to know which ad account to charge. Okay. So right here in the middle, click on Add Assets, and then you'll see your ad account. There's your ad account, and check that. Click on Add, and you're good. We're good. Perfect. So now to the left, we're going to keep going down the left hand side, and we don't need to bookmark any of that. So we're going to click on Data Sources, um, Data Sources, and let's go to let's go to Pixels. Let's just go ahead and set up this Pixel. Do you know what a pixel is? Um, kind of, but let me hear your explanation. A, a pixel is, is just simply a piece of code, and and just mm -hmm. and just take away the s, take away the word pixel. We're going with Sharon Bell Realtor for everything. All these assets, everything is Sharon Bell Realtor. Perfect. And then hit continue. A a, a pixel is simply a piece of code, like a string of letters and numbers, like a piece of code. Mm -hmm. Set up the pixel now. Go ahead and click on that one. And and in fact, I'm going to show you right now, and I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you copy and paste it. Um, click on the middle one. Manually add manually add and then down here just click the blue click and just copied it okay cool now open up another tab and just email it to yourself so yeah email to your, it to myself yeah go to your email and just and just email it to yourself oh i have it on my other monitor so i'm gonna just do it here perfect i'm not am I, I do you see my second monitor no i just see the little babies in the pool with a dollar bill okay perfect nice tropical uh, store so what do you want me to subject for, what do you want me to label the subject Facebook pixel, Pixel. Sharon Bell Realtor, Sharon Bell Realtor, Facebook pixel. Yeah. So moving forward, 
I'm telling you right now, my 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 one thousand percent, one hundred percent, one thousand percent professional opinion. All you need from this point on is a landing page. Perfect. You can build up to a ninety. You you can go you can go to nine figures with just a landing page, two pages, a landing page, and a thank you page. Perfect. Those two. I don't need a full blown website. I don't need all this fancy stuff. I don't need any of that. I need a landing page. I need a I need a I need a landing page and a thank you page. I need a landing page for an open house. I need a landing page for a listing. I need a landing page for a buyer guide. I need a, I need a landing page for a seller guide. I need a landing page for a CMA. That's it. it. I don't need no fancy website. I need a landing page. Okay. So so moving forward, that pixel, that pixel can go on any website, any website. So if you have a website right now, okay, cool. That, that pixel, put it on your website. It, it can't hurt. But moving forward, landing pages, that's all you'll really need. That's the pixel that goes on the landing page. So, so now, where is that, where is that gonna, when I put when that when I encode when I put that in something where is that taking me where is that taking the person? You're no, you're simply taking that and you're pasting it in the settings of a website. You're oh. in the settings of a landing page, which I'm gonna help you do. We'll get there on call four and five. Okay. But but we're taking that we're pasting it inside of the settings of that website. So now when people land on the website, Facebook can start tracking it. Got it. Yes, that's a Facebook pixel. So a piece Got of it. code that Facebook can can track visitors. Based on what page they're on, if they landed oh, on oh, that the makes sense. Guide, okay, got it. They got landed it, got on it. the seller guide, right? So we can start tracking the visit. That's from the Facebook pixel. So this is for so, tracking purposes. Got it. We're tracking. So scroll down, scroll down. We're um, keep going a little low, and then turn this one on. So number two, yeah, turn on, and then we're gonna go continue. Okay, cool. So you just email it, email it to yourself, um, and then hit cancel right here. And and this is gonna be a bookmark as well. We're not gonna bookmark it from here. But um, but this will be a bookmark. Go ahead and refresh this page. Okay. And when we put the pixel on, so the, so the name of the pixel is Sharon Bell Realtor. Right now it's inactive. Right now it's a red dot. So right right when you post, right when you actually paste it on a website or on a landing page, that green, that dot will turn green. Okay. So right now it's just inactive. So see if you can add yourself to it um, for, in the time being. Just see if you can add people. Perfect. Sharon Bell, full control. Okay, cool. Everything's tied back to Sharon. And then see if there's any assets, if we need to tie it to the ad account. Um, yeah, perfect. So tie it to the ad account. Okay, cool. Awesome. So everything, all we're doing is connecting the puzzle, we're taking all these pieces and connecting it. Um, and so now we're going to keep going and we won't bookmark it here. We'll bookmark it from another page. So so we got, we got um, and then let's go brand safety. Let's go brand safety. So brand safety, click on domains. I would say probably six months Probably within the past six, seven months, this became a new requirement, a new setting, a new feature, a new update within Facebook, where now if you're running a, a Facebook ad or if you're running an Instagram ad, you have to be running it to your domain, a domain that you own, right? So it can go to any website, like anyone, you know, any landing page, it can go to any website, but that website has to be your, it has to be your custom domain, right? Mm -hmm. SharonBellRealtor.com, for example, right? Yeah. You have to own that domain. Um, that's a new update within Facebook. So here, Facebook just wants to know, okay, which domain are you going to be running ads to? And, and they're going to give us a piece of code where we have to go and set it up inside of GoDaddy. Okay. So for today's example, um, we can just, we could do any domain um, and let, let's just do any domain for right now. So click on add um, and then create a new domain and um, just simply type it in. No www, just the name. Perfect. Sharon Bell Realtor. Perfect. And then we're going to add. Go ahead and put the dot com. Oh, you do have to put the dot com. Yeah. So even though right now this is forwarding to YouTube, no big deal. Um, we'll integrate it with Facebook just in case we do plan on running ads to that domain um, someday. So okay. we'll an ad. And then here, now we're going to have a set of a, a set of instructions. So the drop down right in the top right, click on that drop down and we want to come down to the third one, the, DN, the, the DNS uh, text. Okay. And then now we're going to follow instruction number two. So it says, follow the instructions to add this TXT record to your DNS configuration. So hover over that and just click. Perfect. You copied. So now open up another tab and we're going to go to GoDaddy. Okay, so now that we copied that, that number two, instruction number two over there, now we're going to add. So click on the black add button. And now we're going to simply type. We're going to click the drop down and come down to TXT. So it's calling for a TXT um, um, code. And then the name, put the at sign, so shift two at the at symbol, and then the value, paste in that link. So right over to the right-hand side, the value, yeah, just paste it in, perfect, add record. Okay, cool, so this will take maybe three seconds, one, two, three, cool, success. Okay, we're good here, so we don't need this. So we can close out of GoDaddy, we're good over here. 
So now let's go back to um to yeah the business settings right here. Sometimes this takes a few clicks. Sometimes this takes a few minutes. But let's just try. Click on the green uh, verify domain. Um, perfect. Happened right away. Cool. Now you're good. Now you're within compliant with Facebook. Now we can tell Facebook, hey, this is the domain we're running ads to. Track this domain. And and now now again, this is only happening through the business manager. That's how important this is. Now we're gonna be able to track all this data to A leverage question. for future ads. When you say when you say track domain it has nothing to do with the website, the domain is no. the SharonBell.com. Yes, it. it's just the domain. So we're tracking the domain. Once we tie the domain to a website, then yeah, then 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 we can start tracking different parts of a website. Like even the website that you have right now, right now, it, it can track like as long as we put the pixel, actually, but we don't have the pixel on that one. But yeah, as long as we put the pixel on on a website and we have the domain integrated, that's the tracking. So Got everything it. happens. You can't do one without the other. Right. Right. Just because the domain is now here, Facebook's not going to start tracking the domain until the pixel is actually on it as well. Got it. Okay. Right? So everything has to, has to happen. Okay, cool. So, so add assets. Let's see if we need to add any assets to the domain. So right to the right. Uh, oh, got it. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we got to do all of this again. Um, classic pages, classic pages. So here we're just telling Facebook, yeah, classic pages. We're telling Facebook this don't this this domain is affiliated with this page, with this business page. Okay. okay. Cool. Add, and we're good. Okay. Cool. Now we're good there. Now we'll keep it moving on the left hand side. We'll go down to business info, business info, and this is where this is where most drop the ball. Is none of this stuff is ever filled out, <laughs> and and the primary page is not tied to any primary page right so this is this is where a lot of people drop the ball and this is why ads will get rejected this is one one reason why your other account got that red flag got got disabled we, we need to fill all this stuff out and we don't need tax id so um if anything let's start yeah you could start here start here that's fine start here go to sure? yeah start legal name of business um and that could be sharon bell realtor as well i can okay yeah, sharon bell realtor and then we'll fill out all this information um except for tax id we don't need we don't need tax id Okay, so that email is the one that's on file, right? So always, always know which email is on file. Um, your 8081 is on file. Yep. To the very, very top, let's go back to the edit. At the, at the very top, let's edit this one. And now let's type in the primary page. Just type in your name. Type in your name and you'll see the dropdown. Always go with the dropdown. And then click on save. And that's that's the new one, right? That's the new one? Yes. Okay, that's cool. the new one that we, um, that we created yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you... Uh, if you just oh well let's just keep going no no, 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 no no ask me so when i if you want me to click on it real quick mm -hmm. so when i click on it yesterday remember how we couldn't get the um at sharon bell gotcha. i wanted to ask you about this i put in the bell group tbg the reason why i and i wanted to ask you about this do you think that that would be a good at username to have because at some i'm starting a team at the beginning of the year yes and we're going to be called the bell group the bell group i love it I love it. I love the, I love the bell group TBG. Okay. That's cool. Whatever that means. I had to add TBG but, only because the bell group was taken already. Oh, no way. The bell. We'll see that. Okay. Well then that's something. How about the dot com? Did you check the dot com? I didn't. Oh yeah. Open up in the tab. Go, go to it. The bell group dot com. Perfect. So we're good in the business settings. We don't need to come back here for a while. The business settings. We're good. Um, so now over here, click on no, right on the top left. Now you'll oh, yeah. this no no yeah now you'll notice this is a new account, right? Mm -hmm. But your old account is still there. So hit the drop down in the in the top the top left. Your old account see more ad accounts. Your old account is right there at the bottom. Got it. So if you click on that, you'll see all your old ads. Again, those are ads that were either boosted or those were posts that were either boosted as an ad or they were ran here in the ads manager. Got it. But we don't want to do this anymore. No we don't want to touch this anymore. Everything is going to run from the other account which is um, Sharon Bell Realtor. So this is a bookmark. Bookmark this page. Oh, so bookmark this one? From right here. Yeah, perfect. From right here. This is ads manager. So take away all that ads manager. Perfect. And we'll put it in that folder. Ads manager. Okay, cool. So now we'll keep it moving. We'll, we'll click the three lines three lines again. And let's go to, go to, go to billing. Let's go to billing. So billing, and then we'll click on payment settings um, right there in the top right. So billing is super important. Obviously, for, for credit card reasons, you can always switch out that card. Um, you can always put a PayPal if you want. Um, um, but knowing what card is on file, obviously, is super important. So bookmark it from here. Bookmark it from here and and, and call this one billing. billing. 
So you can always switch out your card for sure. And then, and then your threshold, knowing your threshold or just knowing your balance throughout the month, right. Is, is, is kind of important. So yeah. the very, very beginning of a brand new ad account. That's what we just set up earlier as we've set up a new ad account. Sharon Bell Realtor is the name of the ad account. That's it at the top, right? Right. Seven, nine, seven, five, nine, nine, zero one. That's your ad account. So, so in the beginning of a new ad account, you have a threshold right now. It's two bucks. So every $2, Facebook's going to charge your card, but it's actually a good thing because once they charge it several times, then the threshold increases. And then once it, once you surpass that number, it, it'll increase like 25 bucks a, a threshold, your threshold. And then I think after that, then it, then it becomes monthly. So then you start begin, uh, being billed once a month Got it. after you cross your thresholds. So this is a bookmark. So we're good here. Now, three lines to the left and let's go to, um, let's go to audiences. So we'll see audiences over here. This is what it's all about. This is the reason why we're setting up a business manager is primarily because of the audiences. This is what it's all about, 99% of it. So click on the first one, the, the blue one, create a custom audience. These are the different sources is what Facebook calls them, where you can create an audience around. Um, for your business, all you're really going to be doing is creating audiences around website and video. That's really it. Um, website and video. Um, you'll be able to track those who are landing on your website, those who are opting in becoming leads, all the, those different links that people are clicking on. You'll be able to track that under website and then, and then use that data to show future ads to, but the video, this right here is going to be a game changer for you because you do video, you do a ton of video. Now what we're going to start doing is being able to start doing is, is now start tracking those who are actually watching it. Now we're not, we're not tracked. Facebook's not giving us their name and phone number, right? They're not a lead just yet, right? But they're tracking the data. They're tracking the pixel. They're tracking the the, the cookie. They're cooking everybody. They're tracking everybody. So yeah. if you so when you start putting out these one minute videos, two minute videos, we're gonna start tracking those who are watching percentage. In fact, let's create our first audience right now around a video because I know you got some videos over there. Let's do a video for the heck of it. Um, now, once you start running videos that are actually ads, because you got all these videos on the page right now that are actually not. Actually, you don't have any videos on this new one, on this new page, right? No, I don't. But I've got one ready to go. X this out real quick. Let's just create an audience around around the Facebook page. But but as you start to create audiences, what I was gonna what I was gonna say is as you start to create audiences around um, video, you're only gonna want to really create ads around videos that you're running ads on. Got it. Because if I put out a video and 100% of that time that that video that that post was up, I was actually running an ad on it, and I was running an ad targeting Vista, and I got seven thousand views on that video. That's a custom audience versus wow. a video that I put up organically and maybe I got 200 views on it, 300 views on it, but those are views from people all over the place. Right. I wouldn't want those people in my audience. I wouldn't want to create a custom audience and show that audience my next listing because that organic post, the 300 views are most likely all over the place got it. in Vista. They're not even in this area. Right. So I would only create an audience around a video that I know thousands of people came in to watch that that live in this area or that live in Pacific Beach or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. That's 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 good for a custom audience. Right. So right. here just to bookmark the page. We'll just do Facebook page for now. So next. Okay. And, and another reason why I wouldn't necessarily create an audience around an Instagram account or around even a Facebook page. Click on next. Okay. It's because even with your Facebook page, even with your Instagram account, yeah, you have thousands or not you specifically, but in speaking in general, yes, a, a person has thousands of people that follow them on Instagram. But if I'm farming Vista and I got these 7,000 people that follow me on Instagram that are, that are all over the damn place, why do I want them in an audience to show them my Vista ad? Right. Right. I wouldn't. And and so that's why I wouldn't really create account uh, audiences around those types of accounts, because again, I only want people in an audience that I know I, that I know are in a specific area. If okay. I'm a local business like you, if I'm a nationwide brand, well, the hell of it, I'm targeting everyone, right? But but no, right. these are audiences that we're going to be able to leverage for future ads. Like I want to be able to target these people with future ads, right? So 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 here, I don't know if that's the right page. So hit the no, page. it's not. Yeah, um, I have. Up. I'm going to type in the Sharon Bell Realtor. I Perfect. think it's this. Yeah, so we'll, so just to get the bookmark and 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 to show you how this is even done, we're, we're going to bookmark this. The retention, bring that down, and that's what Facebook can do. They can they can track the data. They can put these people in this audience up to three hundred and sixty five days, and they'll be in that audience, which we can run ads to, 
which that's it sounds cool, but it's actually not. Like I want people to that that have been on my page or people that have clicked on an ad or people that went to my website or people that watched my video. I want them to still remember me. So 30 mm-hmm. days is the max. Go ahead and put in 30. 30 is the max. If you watched 25% of my one minute video 27 days ago, I'm showing you another ad. But at the same time, even 27 days ago is a long time ago. Should I do seven days? Lower number is is somewhat better when creating these audiences. But again, this one is going to be going off of your page. We're doing this just for an example, just for example purposes. But in the future, yeah, as we start to create audiences around those who watch your videos, then maybe, yeah, having someone in that audience that watched that video 13 days ago yeah. will still somewhat remember you versus someone that watched that video 25% of that one minute video 47 days ago. Right. So 15 and might be ideal. 15 might be, be ideal. Yeah. 15. We'll go with 15 for a lot of these audiences. So the, 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 um, the events above the 15, everyone who engaged with your page, hit that drop down. We don't want that one. We have different, there's different ones. So, so each one is different people who currently like or follow your page, people who engage anyone who visited people who engaged with any post or ad go with that one. If you, if I ran an ad on this and you, you click like, or you commented, or you shared, you're in this audience, right? So, and and again, this won't really be one that we, we show ads to in the future, but again, this is how, how you create a custom audience. So the audience name, audience name, name it the same people who engaged with any post or ad. And this is our first custom audience. So again, 99% of online marketing is about creating custom audiences bottom line that's 99 percent of online marketing when it comes right. to running ads so create audience and this becomes okay. our new audience so we're going to bookmark this page from here so now all we're going to do moving forward is stack this list we're going to st- this is custom audiences custom audiences and before we're done we want hundreds of them in this in the in on this list right here click done, done. Customer, okay. good. So that video that you're planning on, that next video that you're planning on rolling out, right? That next video, whatever it may be, we're gonna post the video on the business page. We're gonna run an ad. We're gonna come over here and create a custom audience. That's, and it always has to be on the business page. Good question. Yes, yeah. You want to post it on the business page first. Okay, so the business page, you never really want to run an ad, really. Then, do, do if you run an ad to a business page, do you have to have no, all ads. A bunch of likes. Well, no, no, you don't have to, but we are going to have a bunch of likes. We're going to have thousands of likes. And that's what we're going to do on our next call is run a Facebook like ad. Got it. But you don't need any of that. You don't need posts. You don't need likes. You don't need, you don't need any of that stuff to run a, run an ad. Every ad is ran through a, through, through, through a Facebook page. So when I see your Facebook ad, it's coming from your Facebook business page. If I see your Instagram ad, it's coming from your Instagram account. It's coming Got it. from your profile from your page, right? Um, and it has nothing to do with your likes or followers because it's not going to them. It's going to that different. Is it going to a tailored audience? No, it's, it's, it's yes, it, yes, for sure. Now the, the post, it's an ad. The post is on the business page. So yeah, anybody and their mother can go to my business page and see it, but it's actually running as an ad at the same time to thousands of people in this area. Got it. So it's not Got like, it. okay. It's not like thousands of people in the newsfeed are just randomly seeing it. No, only who I'm targeting. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what, okay. So it's just like running any other ad from the ones that I used to do. Yes, it's just like that. It's just okay, like okay. all we're doing is running it from a different location in the platform. Got it. Okay. That's the same exact thing. You're you're running it, targeting a certain location. Yeah, all that. Like we're, yeah, all that. Um, but as far as the page, like, yeah, it doesn't need to be full of likes. Although it will be though. It will be because that's our very next call is, is running a like ad. Okay. So, so all this we're setting up today, the Facebook business manager, all this needs to be set up before we even run our first ad. And, and in our case, again, it's giving me the like ad. So yeah, we're doing all the setup right now. Nice. So, so this is our custom audiences. This will start putting a bunch of audiences, which we can again, leverage in the future for, 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 and, and show future ads to. So now we'll click the three lines. We'll keep it moving. Click, click. We have a couple more bookmarks, three lines. Oh, you're fine. Two. Let's go to, um, we're going to, we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to events manager. In fact, I think we just have two more bookmarks. Okay, so events manager over here, once we put the pixel on a page, that's when this page will actually open up. And then we'll and then and then we'll re we're gonna bookmark it for today's video and, and today's training, but we're gonna rebookmark it. And this that's the pixel. So hit the hit the drop down in the top right 
um, Sharon Bell Realtor, the drop down, and then just click on, on the one with your profile picture. So this page over here, again, will look a little different when we actually put the pixel on a page. Um, okay. um, and then and then just can you minimize this top part? I think it's the little arrow to the right of the blue dots. Um, that one? No, no, actually expand it. But right here to the bottom left, to the left a little bit, you have those three dots right in the middle of the page. Right in the middle. Of, oh, right here. Yeah. So to the right of that, that little arrow, click on that and that will kind of perfect. Okay, cool. So now the um the little blue triangle to the left, hover over and click the on date. Blue triangle. I mean, I'm so sorry. It's 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 a triangle above the triangle, the blue, the blue circle above the triangle. Hover over the blue the blue circle and go to data sources. Got it. Okay. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and bookmark it from right here. So bookmark this and name this one pixel. This is our pixel. Again, once the pixel is on a page, this will open up on a website. This page will open up and we'll rebookmark it. But for now, this is the pixel page. Okay. So, so in the future, if you ever need to put your pixel on something, you can grab it from here or you just email it to yourself. Got right? it. So you have it there as well. Okay. So, so the last bookmark, the last bookmark, we have one more and, and all we're going to do is hover over the blue triangle and go to custom conversions, custom conversions and bookmark this. And again, this will be another page that we rebookmark custom conversion, custom conversion. We'll rebookmark this once we put the conversion on a page. Okay. And, and the conversion is, is based on the thank you page. So I'll explain on our, on our next few calls, but let's look at our folder. What do we got on our folder? We have, um, we have, let's see what are our folder. There we go. We have, we have business settings, ad accounts, ads manager, billing, custom audiences, pixel and custom conversion. That's it. So when it comes to scaling Facebook ads, when it comes to scaling Instagram ads, those are the only seven things you'll ever click on. Okay. So so moving forward, what we're going to do is we're going to run an ad out of the ads manager, which is tied to the ad account. That's where the credit card is, right? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be, we're, yeah. So that's our very next one. We're going to be running an ad to the ads manager. Uh, wow. We're going to be, as we get our pages, we're going to be setting up custom audiences. As we put, put out more video, we're going to be setting out custom audiences. Our billing, we'll always know where our billing is. Our business settings, that's only if we need to integrate another domain. Um, the business settings, we won't even need it. The custom conversion is based on our web page. So once we get our web pages up, we got to let Facebook know which is the most important page um, out of the out of our landing pages. That's the custom conversion. So from this point on, all we're doing is working on these seven. Okay. That's it. There's there's nothing else inside or outside of this whole entire platform. Than Perfect. The, those seven. So that's our call today. That's our Facebook business manager setup. Any questions on that, on that? Any questions on that whatsoever? No, I think the only follow-up questions I have is, and then I'm sure we'll get to it. Is um, big. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel my um, website, but do you want me to cancel that now, or how do I? I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to save all of that stuff. Should I just take a a screenshot of every page so I remember how I had it set up, or what should I do there? If anything, maybe just list whatever buttons you have, like at the top. Like, like go ahead and open up another, yeah, yeah. Open up another tab and I'll, and I'll show you. 